Welcome back to Character Limit Exceeded, the movie review segment where every word counts, y'all. That's right, Frank TV. Today we're talking about one of my favorite films, the 50th anniversary of Candyman. All right, sonnies, let's see who's getting the golden ticket today. It's time to pick that stick. David, we all get the golden ticket when you do an accent. I got the Hemingway six word review. I got the Chirp 280 characters. And that looks like children, I have the book report. 250 words of pure gold. Well, you know what that means. Let's get to the reviews. <laughs> Directed by relatively new filmmaker Nia DaCosta with writing credits from Jordan Peele, DaCosta, and Wynn Rosenfeld, Candyman 2021 seeks to revitalize the 90s supernatural slasher with a refreshing perspective. The Monkey Paw Productions gang seem to be forming a trend of reinvigorating notable and less conspicuous titles from the 90s. A People Under the Stairs remake is in production, which I personally am intrigued to see. To be honest, I was not a fan of the original Candyman series from back in the day. To me, it just didn't seem scary, and if anything, it was relatively boring. That's not the case here, though. I guess it would technically be a soft reboot. The film stars Yahya Abdul-Mateen of HBO's Watchmen fame as Anthony, a promising artist in the Chicago art scene. Anthony is currently in a struggle to find his next muse for an exhibit. On top of this, he faces pressure from his girlfriend and her brother, Troy, to begin creating revenue and contribute rather than relying on her to support him. This leads Anthony to pursue an urban legend known as the Candyman from a project in Chicago as his next muse, though it seems he's not the only one being pursued. The film integrates many social discussions into the narrative, gentrification being the most heavy-handed of them. The cinematography is beautiful, featuring some innovative slasher scenes as well as a great title sequence. Even though it didn't succeed in piquing my interest for Candyman, I would still recommend you give it a watch, though I would say seeing it in theaters isn't totally necessary. Nia DaCosta's Candyman is well shot, well thought out, and, well, straight up awesome. The attention to detail, from the mirrored title cards to the strange way blood spills, keep you locked into the uneasiness of the story's world. And you can't overlook that sweet, sweet brutality. Wait, I forgot my vape. No, I don't think you should. Boo? Boo? Well executed, but played too safe. What are you doing? Movies got heavier hands than Danny. 